Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Quiet News Extra Interview Session. So today we have an expert in this sector in the blockchain ecosystem. She is also an expert in cyber security. So we have Angel Johnson. She is information security and cyber security specialist. Angel, you're welcome to Coin News Extra. Thank you so much. Nice to finally uh, connect with you. I've seen you've been doing good work in the community. So uh, definitely looking forward to today. Yeah, thank you. It's our pleasure to have you. How is the United States today? You, United States is interesting. Um, we got a lot of, as, you, as you're well aware, I'm sure you see a BBC and everything else, but we have a lot going on right now. Um, uh, our current president um, has uh, contracted COVID. And so uh, uh, that's going on. Plus, we're right in the midst of an election season. Um, So actually, uh, right after I get off with you, I'm going to go and cast my ballot today. We can actually do mail-in ballots. Um, So the U.S. is interesting. Weather is is very pleasant. We're right about 60, 65 degrees, nice and sunny. um, So no complaints. Yeah, interesting. I will pray that your president here recovers uh, very soon. Uh, that's very nice to know. So uh, let's move straight to the ecosystem. Uh, What's your background? We, we heard that you are the uh, 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 cybersecurity specialist and we want to know uh, how is it, how did you get into both cryptocurrency and cyber at the same time? Definitely, definitely. So um, I have been in technology for 20 years. I graduated from Temple University uh, 20 years ago and I majored in computer information systems. Um, So I've always had a zest for technology. Um, At that time, there were hardly any um, African-American women um, in technology. And unfortunately, even up to today, you really don't see a a whole lot of us, but um, technology was something that was always really, um, really interesting to me, just, you know, stuff. Studying. Um, and one of the, the things that I enjoy most is that you're always growing, you're always learning. And so over the last few years, um, I have started to really dive into uh, cryptocurrency. Um, three years in particular, um, I started out with uh, Litecoin as one of my preferred coins. Um, And so I would just follow and, you know, try to understand all the benefits, try to understand everything um, that was going on with the coin. Um, Since then, I've started, you know, investing in other altcoins. Um, And then most recently, I am on the board of Guapcoin. Um, And so it's just been an exciting time for uh, cryptocurrency over the last few years. Um, But then, because technology is always evolving, um, cybersecurity started to really heat up over the last few years. And so, um, you know, being in technology, we always have to stay open um, to learning and to understanding new technologies. And so I decided to go back to school, uh, which is very interesting in itself because I had graduated 20 years ago, May 2000, uh, from Temple University. And so deciding to go back to school a couple years ago was definitely one that was an investment of uh, time and money. But I did want to start to study cybersecurity. I think that, you know, there were the data breaches that were happening all across the world. um, And, you know, cybersecurity is one that you can always um, stay relevant because everyone needs someone who has that background at this point to try to protect yourself um, and protect your company um, from all the various attacks, as well as just make sure that um, all of your applications are, you know, going through vulnerability scans and just really ensuring that um, you're doing everything that you can do to prevent attacks and just make sure that you have the, the top notch um, cyber um, analysts on, on the job. And so I wanted to, you know, learn more. Uh, and so last year I graduated uh, from Johnson and Wales with a uh, MBA in cybersecurity. And so, you know, it's been nice because, um, you know, I was already naturally 
into cryptocurrency. And so to be able to um, have both backgrounds has been very interesting as we move into, you know, 2021 and beyond. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations on the graduation. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Uh, yeah. So um, you are seeing you are in the ecosystem, and you see uh, you've graduated in, this, uh, in the cyber security sector. Um, you've seen what blockchain can do. So with your experience and everything around this space, uh, what do you think is the state of uh, cyber in this uh, pandemic period? Yeah, it's a really interesting question because. Um, you know, there's so much going on all across the world. And I'm sure you see it just, you know, in reading the news and, you know, really trying to get an understanding of, you know, how to prevent. Um, but one of the things that I'm seeing quite a bit of is just the ransomware, you know, and that's that's all across the the world, you know, ransomware ransomware attacks have started to increase quite a bit, um, and we're seeing that in the in the cryptocurrency space as well. Um, um, another thing that we're seeing quite a bit in crypto is the um, the money laundering. You know that uh, you know that has become quite a bit of. Um, Get, been getting quite a bit of news recently um, where people are, you know, funneling money um, because everything is decentralized on the crypto side, then people are starting to really funnel a lot of money um, through that. And so it's, been, you know, it's, it's sort of given crypto a bad name, um, but it, with it being decentralized, there's just a lot of different options of things that can can go on. Um, but when you talk about the pandemic, I think this is a good time for people to dive in, you know, even Litecoin, which I said was one of my preferred coins, um, the, the value has gone down a bit. And so this is a good time to, to use the pandemic um, to really capitalize off of purchasing more coins, uh, whether it be, you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, I'm not really, you know, all that into Bitcoin per se, um, you know, but the Litecoin and some of the other altcoins can be very uh, good to get into. Um, and just, you know, making sure that you, you know, just from a user perspective, I, I talk to a lot of people about making sure that, you know, you try to keep secure with your authentications, um, making sure that you keep track of all of your passwords. I know it sounds simple, but, you know, um, maybe about four or five years ago, people were, had lost millions when Bitcoin blew up because they could not find the, the passwords to a lot of their wallets. And, you know, that's, that's a serious conversation because we think, oh, you know, what's the big deal? You know, you can, you know, try to reach out to customer support. And when, when things are decentralized, you know, those those things are not really an option. So it becomes very important to, to really keep track, especially during a pandemic when we're seeing people, you know, transition on, people are passing, you know, what, what type of passing down of information happen to make sure that, you know, those accounts do not fall to the wayside. Um, and so there's just a lot of things during this pandemic that um, we have to be mindful of, but definitely keeping track of passwords, making sure that you jump in. I know that your audience may not all be cryptocurrency specialist. And so just making sure that they use this time to jump in, don't let any of the, you know, cyber threats hold you back, definitely dive in. Um, cryptocurrency, digital currency as a whole is only going to increase and expand. And so we want to make sure that, you know, your users and, and those beyond are jumping in and really um, diving into the opportunity. Interesting how you talk about uh, the, some people using their password. That was on an interview with, um, one enthusiast, a cryptocurrency enthusiast from the United States, uh, he was saying that he lost a password that uh, access to the account containing over one million Bitcoin. So not even one million dollar, one million Bitcoin you could imagine. So these are some of the this, uh, uh, challenges we could see. Yeah. So uh, we have seen some people who are uh, some most special technologies in these uh, around the world who are having some issues that uh, so some people are skeptical about uh, the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. So what are your some of your recommendations 
about their movement to cryptocurrency and cyber security? Yeah, I think that we can't um, let fear hold us back. I think especially in this economy right now where things are a little bit more open and, you know, a bit of a level playing ground. When when will we get this opportunity to, you know, really be in a similar state um, as, from an economy perspective? So I think it becomes very important to not let fear um, hold us back um, as a people and as a society, um, because the opportunities at this point are plentiful. Um, and so from a cryptocurrency space, I think that's definitely that that now is the time, if not a few years ago, um, to jump in, roll up your sleeves. But even, you know, study in cybersecurity, I mean, I'm always an advocate of that as well, because like I said, to this day, there's still not many um, minorities um, nor women that are in technology, let alone cybersecurity, let alone cryptocurrency. You know, I, I get that uh, myself and a few of us are, are more of unicorns at this point because, you know, we're just not into that, that space. And so I, it's always uh, my job to bring light to that and to put a face, you know, to it as well so that people know that there are people that look like you, look like me, that are in the space, in the cryptocurrency space, in the cybersecurity space. Um, and it, it matters. It matters to see. But it also, we, we have to then take accountability and say, how, what do I need to do to, to study, to learn? Um, because these things don't just happen overnight. You know, I went through, you know, almost a two year program. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's possible. It's possible to, to dive in, to get in. Um, and now is the time. I say that, you know, let's use the, the pandemic as a time to, to capitalize and to dive in um, and not wait. So finally, uh, before we draw the curtain on today's episode of Current News Extra interview, uh, how do you see the future of uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain? Yeah, I think that it's only going to grow. Uh, Lee, can you still hear me? I can see you, but I just want to make sure you can still hear me. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, cool. So I think that... Um, at this point, it's only going to grow. I see that, you know, blockchain, just digital currency as a whole. Um, over the last year, we've started to see many financial institutions um, have their own sector of digital currency. Um, and I think that, you know, as we continue to grow as a society, that those things are only going to expand. And so that's why I think it becomes very important for uh, people like yourself, people like myself to really get into it. This is still, you're, you would still be considered an early adopter at this stage. And so you wanna be an early adopter, um, but at some point it will get saturated. It isn't, it isn't today, it isn't tomorrow, um, but now we wanna take advantage of this time. Um, and as far as the blockchain, blockchain has really been, um, you know, a lot of companies have started pouring money into the blockchain because um, they they see the value uh, from a technology perspective. And once again, you know, you want to try to use this time to get involved, to get engaged, to study, to learn, because at this point it is not going away. I am certain of that. And so you want to continue to, to be on the forefront and to really be continue to be an early adopter to participate and to make money and to, you know, even, you know, to be a consultant. Um, I have to get, give a shout out to, there's a, a group that I joined years ago, uh, BBC, the um, Black Blockchain Consultants. And so what I love about that group is that they've, um, you know, they bring to light information, um, contract opportunities, jobs. And so it, it is a good organization to really get in, to learn and to get your feet wet, um, as well as to be able to take advantage of opportunities as they continue to, to be available over these next few years. Thank you very much, and uh, Johnson, for joining us today on Coin is a Starting Tab. Definitely. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Feel free.